This a little bit longer form, I want to I wanna expand on that and try to, you know, not get my point so rushed. So I do appreciate you watching. The, here's the deal. The three principles of marketing, and I know if you've seen or watched any of my other videos, you're going to think that it's review, refine, repeat. While that is so important, when it comes to social media and content, the things that I like to abide by are connect, engage, perform. So let's go through them piece by piece and let's see if we can't kind of expand on this and make it make more sense. So you want to connect. You want to connect with your intended audience. You want to go ahead and you want to be able to find the right people to you're talking to. You know, I had a conversation the other day at lunch with uh, with somebody and she said, well, let me follow you on Instagram. I'll follow you, la, 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 all that. Played the Instagram dance. And she looked at me and she said, she's a photographer and like uh, crafty. She said, you're, you're gonna be upset about this. I have more followers than you. And while that may be true, what it was is she's not connected with the right people to move the needle for her. So she had like 1,500 or 2,000 followers, but out of that I said to her, how many are influential to your space or your business or what you're doing or you aspire to do? And the answer was, I don't know. We went through her account real quick. We were at Ballast Point in Long Beach. We went through her account. We realized it was only about 20%. So let's say for round numbers, because I suck at math, let's say that it's 1,000. So at 20%, she really only had 200 influential people that she was connected with. 200 people is better than zero people, but it's definitely not 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. So I would rather have a smaller amount of followers, but the right people that I'm connected with and that connect with me and that our messages resonate with one another. So that's the first part, you wanna connect. Second part is engage. Make sure your content is engaging, make sure it's memorable. We just did a podcast on infotainment Kind of prescribe some of that stuff. Think Sesame Street. Sesame Street is like, in my mind, the originator of infotainment. You know, they were teaching you how to count, they were teaching you alphabet, they were teaching you even Spanish at a young age. By, you know, through puppets and through other, other mechanisms and mechanics to keep your attention. Now as a child, and they're catering to a child audience, it's not much different than catering to adults. You know, adults I think are even worse than children because we have more things going on and our mind goes all over the place. So you wanna engage with people. Make your message memorable. I'm not saying do a shtick and, and have some sort of game. I'm just saying be memorable in some way, shape, or form. So we're gonna connect and then we're gonna engage. The last point is we're gonna perform. We're gonna make sure that each piece of content has a goal attached to it. We're gonna make sure that each piece of content has metrics attached to it. And likes and all that type are bullshit metrics. I don't wanna hear about those. That's another vanity metric. So we wanna make sure that everything that you do performs in some way, shape, or form to go ahead and move the brand, move the company towards the goal. And the goal is you know, increasing brand visibility, conversion, and building a community around your product, service, and brand. So think in those terms. So if, you're, if you can go ahead and you can connect, engage, and perform, your social media and your marketing, your content will be way better than a competition. So thank you for watching. We're gonna do more of these videos where we have a Trinity Web Minute with that has the short version of the video and then with the Instagram TV and repurposer YouTube has a longer version of it. So thank you for watching. Talk to you next time.